Hi, I'm Willie with Willie How Technology. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for being here, and I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to tackle tonight is we're going to set up an Edge Router 4, and this uh, could work the same way on an Edge Router 6 as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to set up our Edge Router 4 using the wizard, and then we're going to switch around the LAN and WAN ports. So uh, this has been requested quite a bit, which uh, kind of so. It kind of surprised me, kind of didn't surprise me, because that SFP port on these newer routers can sometimes be a little elusive and a little intimidating to new users. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up, and I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to be able to uh, transition what networks are on that port. So let's get to it. Okay, so I have my Edge Router 4. It's been factory defaulted. And I have my PC plugged into ETH0. So we're going to set a static uh, IP on this. And then we are going to go through the wizard. We're going to set it up so that our WAN port is actually DHCP. We'll set something on the LAN. And then we will, uh, we will swap that around. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this uh, static IP. We'll walk through the wizard and see what happens so the router itself is going to be 1.1 so we're just going to be 1.2 we're going to make it nice and simple not even going to put a gateway in and then what we're going to do is we are going to log into the router okay so we have our warning that this is not secure we're going to go ahead and go through that default username and password both ubnt UBNT. It's going to ask us, router is in the default config. Do you want to start with the wizard? The answer is yes. So here is the question. Do you want your internet port to be ETH0 or ETH3, which is the um, SFP port, right? Do you want your internet to be that or do you want it to be ETH0? So we're going to start off with it being ETH0. Now keep in mind that once I show you this, you're going to be able to transition um, even if you want to use that for your LAN, you're going to be able to do that. So this is just a quick primer about how you're going to be able to get in there and change these networks around. So we're going to leave ETH0 as DHCP. We are not going to bridge the um, we're not going to bridge the LAN interface, right? So I'm just going to use ETH1 as my LAN for now, ETH0 as my ISP. I'm going to change this to uh, another network and I'm going to leave UBNT, UBNT. Do not do that in production. We are going to go ahead and apply these changes and reboot. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug my machine into ETH1. I'm going to plug the ISP connection into ETH0 and I'm going to take the uh, static address off my machine. So we'll be right back. All right, so I have the cabling all uh, swapped around there. So now let's change our uh, network adapter back. We're going to say OK on that. And the router may still actually be, be booting. And we'll see what happens here. Let's open up a command prompt and take a look and see. It looks like we got, yeah, so we can get out to the internet. Everything is good there. looks like we got some joy here on the router. So we're going to go to 77.1 UBNT UBNT. We're going to log in. You can see now that we, now we have a uh, an IP address on our WAN interface, which is right now, excuse me, traditionally um, ETH0 in this setup. Now, if you want to do something like make ETH3 your, your LAN, what you could do is you just come, come in here and you configure this and say, you know, uh, local three. Um, 
So just make it a, you know, class C. So now local three, which is SFP three ETH or SF the SFP port E three now has 192.168.3.1. We would come over here into services. We would create a um, we would create a DHCP pool for this. And then what you would do is you would plug something into the SFP port. You would have to have a module that you slide in there, and then you could take that and put it over to your um, put it over to your switch. Now, if you actually wanted to take 77 and put it on that interface, what you could do is you could plug into Ethernet 2 give yourself an IP address in the 192.168.2 network and then you're free to operate on on this router but before we do that let me show you how to how easy it is to switch the um, the WAN interface on this right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap ETH 0 and ETH 3 so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to config on E3 and I'm going to say no IP address. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to config on uh, ETH0 and I'm going to say, so we'll make this uh, local 3 and we'll say no address. So then we'll come back down here to the SFP port and go to config and we'll call this internet. And then we'll do um, DHCP there. Now we've got to change some of the firewall rules. So now we're going to come over here to um, firewall policies. And right now these were all set up for ETH0. Well, that's not going to work because it's actually ETH3. So we're going to come in here and we're going to go to interfaces. E3, we'll save this. Do the same thing here. And then we're going to come over here to NAT, and we're not masquerading to ETH0 anymore. We are masquerading to ETH3. And that is actually all the rules. So now let me uh, grab uh, an SFP, and we'll plug this in and and see what happens. Okay, so I cleared some VLAN uh, settings out and now uh, I have the proper uh, network on that SFP port. Everything is fine. We'll run a speed test here real quick and um, we'll see what kind of speed we're getting. So our speed test. So it looks like we're gonna top out at about 650 meg. That is not horrible. Not horrible at all. All right, so a couple of other things that I should mention. If you change your, your LAN ports, you're going to want to make sure that you come into the DNS and that you change the, if you're using the router to do your, you know, your DNS um, queries for your clients, you're going to want to make sure that you add that LAN, um, make sure you add that LAN listening interface here. The other thing is if you want to now um, switch this back to where this is LAN uh, and that's WAN, it's really easy to do. Remember you just have to make sure that you change your your firewall uh, and your NAT rules and make sure that you've got a DHCP pool set up and Make sure that you've got, um, what else? Make sure that you've got your DNS and you should be, you should be good to go. But, um, you know, as always, you can have a safe harbor in here. If you're using, if you're not using ETH2, you know, come in here and give this guy or even leave it at the 192.168.2 address that's in there if you can use that network. If not, change it to something 
you know, you can come in here and you could do something like this 172.16.31.1 slash 30, right? So that your machine's got to be 172.16.31.2 with a 255, 255, 255, 252 subnet mask. That way, when you plug right into um, ETH2, you have to be static, but then you can get into the router and make these configuration changes. So um, I hope that um, I hope that that was clear and it helps you get in and understand some of the processes you got to do to change these interfaces around on an edge router. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You can talk to us on Discord. The link is down below. If you'd like to become a patron through our Patreon program, that link is down below as well. If you need IT consulting, we do provide best practice configuration and management for wired and wireless networking, voice over IP, and IT security. You can go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That is our promise to you. If you want to buy any of the gear that you see here on the channel, I have actually left some Amazon affiliate links for some edge routers down there in the description. Once again, I want to thank each and every one of you. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.